Well, good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful Monday. <clears throat> Not for you, though. It's probably a beautiful Tuesday for you. But, uh, oh, yeah, maybe it's Wednesday for y'all. Yeah, I think it's going to be Wednesday for you guys. I don't know. You know, I, I like being a couple days behind, so whatever day it is, hello and welcome to Idiotic Ramblings where life is good. There, I just made my own intro. So, we uh, just got our load picked up. It was a very relaxing day. We got unloaded bright and early this morning. And this load wasn't supposed to pick up till noon. And uh, we were unloaded by like 7.30. So we went to Walmart, restocked our groceries, and uh, ate breakfast at Bojangles. And then we got our load picked up and they loaded it and we were out of there an hour early. So it paid to get there early. So man, we, we are killing it. We are going to drive across this beautiful state of Tennessee over here to Arkansas. We are on our way to Oklahoma. Ardmore, Oklahoma. Which is a pretty decent spot. It's in between Dallas and Oklahoma City. I see a lot of good freight coming out of there on the uh, JB Hunt 360 app. Which is what this load is, JB Hunt 360. I tell you what, man, this this app business of JB Hunt and uh, Uber. I can't really say much for Convoy. I haven't done a Convoy load, uh, but this app business is the way to go, man. I mean, I mean, you just look at the load and uh, <clears throat> you can place an offer on all the platforms, even Uber and JB Hunt, and they usually counter offer. Um, or well, they accept it, you know, and you just click. You don't have to talk to anybody. Well, Uber, if you're gonna place an offer, an offer, you have to call. But I, I tell you, man, it's it's uh, real simple. Mr. JB Hunt, we are gonna pass you on the right since you seem to be comfortable right there. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, man, the, I I think the app is the wave of the future. Uh, everybody needs to do that. Uh, you know, there's no calling, there's no arguing, there's no calling to see what the rate is, to find out it's too bloody cheap, you know. This way you see it, if it's too cheap, you just don't, you just don't, uh, you just move on, you know. That's the way that works. So, uh, I'm liking it. And, this JB Hunt 360, they uh, <coughs> paid me a lot. I've only done one, this is my next, second one. They paid me the very next day, and it's free. So whatever rate you see on that app is what you get paid. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little closer to this guy than I wanted to be, but I wanted to try to get up here and get around J.B. Hunt, you know? <clears throat> J.B. Hunt's holding up the whole production. But anyway, so uh, so yeah, what you see on that, and, it's, and Uber as well, that's 100% yours. There's no fees that come out of that. There's no quick pay fees. There's nothing. It, that is your money, you know. So, yeah, loving it. And uh, you can also see what the lowest offer is. i tell you what, guys, man, some of these offers are just bloody ridiculous, you know. Uh, they'll have a load that's posted for, like, let's say $2 a mile. JB, man, come on, dude. What an idiot. You know what I'm saying? What a... What an idiot. He just sped up, you know? Unbelievable. So, yeah, what you see is what it is, you know? <clears throat> you don't play with me, JB, huh? This is what happens when you mess with a large car, you know? A bully with an attitude, you know? I don't have to put up with your shenanigans. Idiot, you know what I mean? Idiot. Okay, so, uh, yeah. 
I got lost my train of thought because Jay Boy Jay, I mean, he was running 62 miles an hour. Apparently, he can run 70. I don't know because he sped up. You know, I thought JB Hunt was used to be covered at 62, and I, uh, you know, I guess when we're going down, he only let it go. I don't know what he did. Now I'm back doing my 65. Everybody's happy. Woo. Um, so yeah, I mean, what I've seen on these rates, man, these these guys are being crazy. They'll the loads are paying decent. I mean, they're not blowing out of the water, get rich quick scheme, and they're just bidding a thousand dollars over what the load's posted at. You know, I mean, I don't think they're going to get it for that. I don't understand. Is trying to make three and four dollars a mile on every stinking load. It's, it is crazy. But anyway, I mentioned uh, in, a, in a previous video that it, you know, it's a fine line between in the, with the freight rates of gouging or going broke. You know what I mean? I mean, you can't demand three dollars a mile or three fifty a mile on every stinking load. You know. Because you're going to go to some dead areas that you're not going to get three bucks a mile, and to demand three dollars a mile, or you're not moving your truck, well, you're you're hurting the American economy. You know, I mean, if you're consistently consistently getting three bucks a mile, well, congratulations. More than likely, it's on short haul stuff. You know, if you leave a comment down there in my comment box, and oh, I'm making four dollars a mile every mile I run. And I'm going to California. Well, I'm going to call you a liar, okay? Uh, you're not doing that with a drive box. And I, I, I mean, there's just so many guys. I, I, I mean, it's like a it's like a peeing contest or, 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 or a measuring contest or, or, or uh, you know, or uh, a one-up. I mean, uh, you know, I'm out here every day. I see what the rates are, you know. But, Anyway, you just can't, you can't, I mean, when you're in a good area, like, say, Chicago, you might get some $3 a mile freight out of there, you know, going to, going to, uh, you know, somewhere. But when you're in Dallas, Texas, or Phoenix, Arizona, you're not going to get 3 bucks a mile. And that's, so that's why you don't go to them places, you know. Or you do go there because you did get $3 a mile, and you're going to come out for two dollars on an extremely lucky day you know if you own your a game and do some serious shopping you know but so that i don't know they just that's just my rant for the day i guess um idiotic rambling if you call it uh, about freight rates and drive in you know reefers you might get a constant uh two fifty to three dollars a mile I, I would hope so for the cost of the equipment and, uh, and, uh, and uh, maintain that reefer unit, you know. I hope you get a, a, a higher rate than I do with my, with my dry box, but I'm happy with my dry box. I'm doing fairly well, you know. I would like to get into the 40 ton RGN, not heavy haul, but just uh, just a little RGN to pull some rubber tired loads. Even though I have no experience, I wouldn't mind dabbing my feet in it, but uh, right now I'm happy, you know. So that's all that matters. Uh, stay happy. And uh, anyway, we're going to cut this feed because it's going to be too long of a video. So, uh, yep, we're out of here. Well, I turned the uh, camera on to show you guys what Texas rain looks like. I can see through the camera, but I can see out the windshield. Holy smokes. So apparently... Apparently the GoPro is not going to do this visibility justice. If I need a whole screen full of GoPros, I'll drive through the GoPro. Woo! Nice today in Texas. I do not like Texas rain because Texas rain, the roads in Texas are dirty from the old field guys. So when you get rain down in Texas, it looks like you've driven down dirt roads, you know? But it is raining. Holy smokes. It's 
So hello from the Texas rain. As long as it doesn't start hailing, we're good. I don't want any dents in my metal hood. That's the thing about this pre-wheel, the hood is metal. Unlike all the other trucks in the world are fiberglass. You get caught with this thing in a hell storm, it will ding it up. At least the road is not uh, wallered out. You know how you get the grooves in the, in the, in the road and then you get this kind of rain and there all those little valleys fill up with water. So this road is smooth. No gullies. We got about 110 more miles to go and we will be at our destination. caught on a couple of loads this morning uh, that I looked at before I let it out this morning and uh, waiting for them to come to work caught them yeah cheap freight man holy cow I don't understand what's going on with the freight man there's a boom it's like a blown tire but I guess that was thunder but you uh, yeah, I don't know. Fuel's three dollars a gallon, and freight rates are going to nothing. You know, crazy. I can go broke sitting in a truck stop. You know, I ain't got to go broke hauling their freight. I'm gonna go broke. I'm gonna go broke some steel. They hauling cheap freight. Come on, I can go broke at the house. Left lane for passing on me. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna pass nobody. I got a one-eyed Peterbilt behind me. He might want to pass me. I said one-eyed Peterbilt, not one-eyed purple people eater. I still have that 45 of that purple people eater. Uh, who was it sung that song? Anyway, that is an oldie right there. Phew, whew, that is one old record. If it's on the back of uh, Hit the Road Jack, nah, I don't think it is. I don't think there's no relation. I got the 45 with that one too. I, I don't even have a record player. Anyway. had one, I loaned it at the daycare and never got it back. It was an eight track player, record player. So these new kids, so these new kids watching my YouTube, they're like, what, what is he talking about? An eight track player, a record player, a 45, what? He done fell off the cliff. Uh, yep, they probably don't even know what a, a pencil and a cassette tape have in common. But you gotta have both. Yes, sir. Anyway, alright. We're gonna we're gonna end that right there. Let y'all think about all that for a moment. We're gonna keep trucking toward Oklahoma. I'd like to find me a Valero or a, some kind of fuel stop that has burritos. I'd go for a big old breakfast burrito this morning. In Texas, man, you can get some good breakfast burrito. So anyway, okay, we're out. Well, we are sitting here in our first hailstorm.
coming down pretty good, isn't it? I want you to go there and raise the hood. Probably went to my earlier. Probably still clean it up. Across that parking lot? Holy smokes. At least I'm faced head into it. A while ago the rain was coming, or the wind was going and rocking from side to side, so now it looks like it's coming out of the head on, which is good. That turned me over. We can survive the beams. We just don't want to be laid over. Crazy. Welcome to Oklahoma. You lost trails in Oklahoma. Yes, if I had the hood up, of course the wind would probably blow it back down. Let's well, get that safety latch, but that hail is coming straight out the window. If the hood was open, it would just be hitting it with that much more force. So I think that would better off. Ooh, it's getting bad. Oh, it smokes. At least we're parked, not, not out there on the road. Think it's over?
crazy stuff. I think we're in the red cell now, so at the edge of the red cell when it's, when, when it's always the worst. Uh, we're in the light red. We still got two more layers of red to go through. So now it's just getting here. The way that wind will calm down. There's the thunder. Yeah, good thing about these kind of storms, man, it's I always get in the driver's seat, you know. If I get real scared, I'll throw the seatbelt on. That's the best place to be. In the truck, anyway. Driver's seat with the seatbelt on. Alright, I think we're going to survive. If it gets any worse, we'll uh, give you some more footage. Those trucks are rocking pretty good. So, as long as it stays. Looks like it's coming from the right just a little bit, but might be shifting, I don't know. Uh-uh. Uh, let's we'll see y'all. Uh, at the wild. You're watching Idiotic Ramblings with Life is Good. Tim, you're the man.